Thank you for checking out my video. My name is Jeff Rolka. I want to thank you for being here again. This is a breathing focused warm up, and what I've done is integrate some breath practices into the vocalizations. There will be a minimal amount of specific instructions for each exercise. So I'm going to talk a little bit more than I would normally in this video, but not that much more. So I'm going to thank you if you've chosen to subscribe now, and if you haven't, I hope that you'll choose to do so. In our first exercise, there is no pitch that we're actually singing. It's an awful lot of shushing and hissing. And the idea here is to recruit and engage with those abdominal muscles and the lateral expansion of the rib cage. It sounds like this. And then we'll have a brief pause and we'll repeat it. I'll make it pretty obvious and I'll probably do quite a few of them with you. We're going to do five to start with right there. Again, there's no pitch, just shush and hiss. And sh, 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 Take a short pause and let's do it again. And next exercise, we have zzz preceded by those very same shushes. The zzz does have pitch. And I'm going to play it in three octaves. Some of you may be comfortable here. Some of you may be comfortable here. I will sing here to start with, and we're going to ascend from there. Sounds like this. and so on and so forth. And Going back to the beginning, same idea, releasing into an E vowel. Sounds like this. <laughs> Worth mentioning, there's no breathing in between the shushes. You breathe when we're changing keys. And.
Now we're going to start working through the cardinal vowels. This is a staccato note arpeggio followed by a scale. No breathing between the st staccato pitches. The goal here is to get the engagement to work with the closure of the vocal folds so we get a nice balanced phonation and we maintain that through the scale. We're going to start with solid vowels. I'm going to show you the keyboard now, so if you wish to, you can follow along with the pitches. We're going to start, again, in three octaves, down here if you like, here if you prefer, and I'll sing there. Nice and easy. Ready? to A sounds like this. to ah. Thank you. 
So I got a little carried away there. If it's not obvious, I really like scales and I think that they're inherently beautiful. And I just started singing and I was having a really lovely time. And I didn't drop out soon enough. But I will drop out sooner this time. A and O. E. Next up, we have an exercise that starts on the fifth scale degree and descends to the tonic. The goal here is to, again, lean into the lateral expansion of the ribcage, firm through the core of the body, be dynamic with the air column, but still consistent. So we want to just sort of pulse those articulations out rather than hit it and then drop our engagement or expansion and hit it again, like so on and so forth. We want to stay expanded and engaged. We're going to start uh, high and then work our way down. So for some of you, you'll be starting up a little bit higher up. But you can always choose wherever you like to be. I'll start here for some. Well, I'm going to start there when I play it. Here also I'll play. And I'll be singing here. So we can demonstrate. And I would say, do this exercise like that, at least the first couple times. And then, if you want a little extra challenge, and this is true for the previous exercise too, insert tiny little sips of air in between the articulations. <laughs> Either way, and Coming back to the top, he, still doing the short ones with he, and then we will switch to a. Sounds like this.
to ah sounds like this. to O. final exercise, we're going to seamlessly go from one key to the next. It's fairly fast. There are meant to be short breaths in between the short notes, but if you're struggling with the exercise, just leave the breaths out. Find a place to sneak a breath somewhere. I've turned the keys off because I think it's more important to use your ears in this exercise rather than trying to follow along with the notes as they're, they're being displayed. And they're going to go by rather quickly anyway. I'm going to play it in one octave, but you can certainly start wherever it suits you best. You can start here. You could start here. I'm going to start here. It sounds like this. I'll show you, I'll show you slowly to start. He, 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 he. to the next key. We do every key twice. There's nowhere to breathe in this exercise except those short breaths. So I suppose if you're going to leave those out, you're going to have to at least take some or figure something out. Generally, this exercise works best when you go a little bit more quickly. He, 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 he. so forth. Let's begin right there. And he, 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 he. stop there for just a moment. Maybe roll your shoulders, roll your neck, check in with your body. If you're feeling yourself holding on here through the neck, through your back, put a little motion in there to kind of break up the tension. Continuing on. And he, 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 he.
to take another pause there. Then we will keep going. We may be getting into some range that's rather challenging. You can always jump down an octave if that's easier for you. That being said, this is an excellent exercise for balancing phonation across registration events. We'll begin when we start again in the key of D flat major, right above middle C. So this is straddling the secondo passaggio for the tenors. The mezzo-soprano vocalists have their primo passaggio in there. Baritones on the kind of sort of lower side of the scale. We're just at your secondo passaggio. Sopranos, we've got your primo passaggio in there and getting into the middle voice range for both mezzos and sopranos. And altos, you're still coming up on your primo passaggio, though it's coming up really quickly. It's a good exercise to practice with. And that covers two octaves of range. We started at C on the bottom. We ended with F on the top, which has C natural as the fifth scale degree. As always, I hope this helps. Thank you once again if you've chosen to subscribe. If you want to get the practice sheets that I use to work off of, or MP3s of these practices, Patreon is the place to go. There is a link in the cards. And you can get all of these MP3s to take with you wherever your travels take you. Thank you again. As always, my name is Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing. And hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.